How are you feeling today? Not great. I'm sore, I have a nasty headache. I only remember bits and pieces of what happened. Probably a side effect of whatever Bray Wyatt used to knock you unconscious. Could also explain some of the things I saw out there. A full recovery is what's most important right now. But unfortunately, we don't know yet how long that might take. So I have some bad news. Triple H is making me strip you of your title due to the injuries you've suffered. I'll make it back in time to defend the title. I know I can. I believe you can too. But Triple H doesn't want to wait around and see. He said his decision was final. I'm sorry. Now try to get some rest, okay? Since we last saw Buzz after his kidnapping and battle with Bray Wyatt Welcome at Wyatt's back to compound. Raw. I know you don't like to ease into things, so you'll be in action tonight in a tag match versus the bar. Yeah, I got your text about it earlier. Who's my partner? I thought I'd leave that up to you. Let's be honest, guys. Ouch. There are a ton of factors working against Buzz tonight in this tag match. But for starters, he's got a partner he's never teamed with and a significant amount of ring rust to shake off as well. And don't forget, he's still likely dealing with the residual effects of that brutal Bray Wyatt attack and the subsequent brawl at Wyatt's compound. That's something you cannot forget. And lastly, they're in there with two formidable opponents in Cesaro and Sheamus, who have no sympathy for whatever issues Buzz may be dealing with. Welcome back to Raw, Buzz. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh, what impact. Harsh impact. This might be it. Oh, my. Cesaro not looking so great right now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. What a strike. Nailed it. Beautiful technique. Suplex. Ooh. What a stop. Good grief. Source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. And a fire by Seamus. Good grief. Got the shoulders down. You're not going to win any matches that easily. He just powered out there, Cole. Oh, 
This is dangerous right here. Vicious strike. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, now that'll do some serious damage. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya. He's harsh impact. Here he is. This might be it. Oh, my. What a nice half kick. Great elevation. Oh, boy. He is rolling. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. Oh, I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And, and now, one more time. Him. He's got it. Let's see it once more. Yeah, this match is all but over. He's got him covered. One, two, three. And we have our winners. Challenges Buzzface tonight. He still managed to come out on top. What a Apparently, Bray Wyatt has unfinished business. And he's not alone. Oh, and look at the punches teeing off. Sent to the outside. Oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Buzz is outnumbered now. What are they going to do? Ooh, what an elbow. Ouch. Bray Wyatt making his presence felt. What a shocking turn of events. It's Finn Balor. Luckily for Buzz, he appears to have made an ally in Finn Balor. I want to know who the heck that guy in the sheet mask was. Byron, go ask Bray. No thanks. I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. But it was during that time that I met a man. Someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together. But when it came time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. He was no use to you anymore, but he is of great use to me. You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? I'm simply doing what comes naturally. Swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. We still have no idea who this guy is. You have got to be kidding me. Bray Wyatt has recruited Cole Quinn? Or whatever's left of him. Somehow, this just got even more personal. Gang up on Buzz! It's Finn Balor! The Demon King was not going to sit back and let this happen to Buzz! Bray has some kind of powerful mental hold on Cole. What does Kurt Angle have to do with any of this? It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere, because your match will be taking place in a steel cage.
Buzz is going to get a shot to even the score with Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match at Survivor Series. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Well, the door's locked, and at this point, the competitors might just be wondering exactly what they've gotten themselves into. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Hey, you and I both know he's double tough. He's not going to let something like this stop him from winning the steel cage match. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Ooh. Let's see how he reacts here. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Ring rattling! Too quick for him there. Ray Wyatt reverses it. Dodges a bullet there. And look at the quickness by Wyatt. Jumping knee strike on point. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh my god. Ooh, what impact. Let's take another look at that. Michael, that was a that'll pretty much do it. Wait a second. That's Cole Quinn. So much for the cage preventing anyone from interfering. And it's two on one yet again. Here comes Finn Balor! This is exactly what Kurt Angle didn't want to happen. Too late now. Sister Abigail on buzz. This time, Two, Finn Balor three. can't help him. It's over! Bray Wyatt has managed to defeat Buzz in a steel cage match where all hell broke loose. Back to Raw where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite a battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon, at least. That's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. If it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. Uh, I don't know about this. You said you are willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. To the multiverse. It's delightful, isn't it? This is amazing. There is even more to see if you open your mind and look to the cosmos. You will encounter the various vessels that we have existed in. Ah, yes. 
I was once a great Egyptian pharaoh in Giza. Unfortunately, that vessel met its demise from the bite of that wicked asp. Do you remember, Brother Buzz? You roamed about Antarctica centuries ago. Was I some kind of explorer? No, you were a polar bear. Oh, let me guess. I was a shark too. No, your vessel was eaten by a shark off the coast of Australia in the 1940s. How gruesome. What's that? I think it's the Blade of Baron. Good match, Van Gogh. It seems as if we've slipped into the current dimension. I am truly happy for you. I don't want to be here. Big things are happening for us. He is a soul most tortured who has lived many conflicted existences. Wakey, wakey, wakey. I said I don't want to be here. Make it stop. You must you face your fears to, to find your inner demon, get brother Buzz. Setbacks due to hallucinations. I warned uh, you not to get on Triple H's bat. You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. You're like a son to me. Stop! That's it. You did it. You're now ready to create your alter ego that will walk beside the Demon King. Yes! You are now ready to delete the consumer of terrestrial entities! Yes! Hey, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Bzzz. Wake up, I'm talking to you. Finn? Where have you been? I was in the multiverse with Matt Hardy finding my inner demon, just like you suggested. You've been gone for weeks. Weeks? Welcome back, Brother Buzz. I neglected to mention that the multiverse creates rifts in the Earth's time spectrum. What felt like 30 mortal minutes was indeed many weeks. Oh, God. But it was well worth it in your effort to make the vile Bray Wyatt obsolete. Weeks. You're probably a little out of sorts right now, but our big tag match versus Bray Wyatt and Cole is tonight. So you need to get your head on straight if we're going to defeat them and have any chance of helping Cole get out from under Bray's control. Don't worry, okay? I may have been gone for much longer than expected, but I found what I was looking for, and you'll be seeing it tonight. Weeks. to the ring at a combined weight of 440 pounds Brandon the prototype and the Demon King Finn Balor
There's been a lot of coverage on Buzz's falling out with Baron Blade, but less is known about Buzz's other mentor, his father. I do know, however, that Buzz has an old safe voicemail from him that he uses as motivation before his matches. Saxton, you've been snooping through people's phones again. No, Buzz told me about it, I swear. Here we go. This is the match a lot of these people came to see tonight. And with good reason, Michael, this one's been brewing for quite some time. that's transpired between Buzz and Bray Wyatt the last few months, it's come down to this. An Extreme Rules tag match where these four men are going to use everything at their disposal to tear each other apart. Let's not forget, despite Buzz's animosity for Bray Wyatt, he still wants to help Bray's partner, Cole Quinn. That has to have an impact on Buzz's performance in this match. Well, Buzz is going to have to put that aside tonight because if he doesn't, he'll never be able to beat Bray Wyatt and Cole Quinn will be gone forever. I think he can. This is a side of Buzz like we've never seen before. Oh, what a really great swinging neck breaker. Big clothesline. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much oh, he man. prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. He's got the shoulders down. Oh, man, they don't even seem hurt after that. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. What a strike! Did you hear that crack? Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've ever seen a superstar smile more than Finn Balor. Unless, of course, he's competing as the demon. Then it's a whole other story. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's gonna do it! Harsh impact. That's what you call a bad landing. Byron touched on Balor's multiple personas, and Corey, having that extra element, I would think, has to be an advantage for him. Well, especially if you don't know. Oh, my God. What's he going to do with it? What a strike. Wow, Finn Balor is being controlled. What's he got in mind? It appears as though Fitton Balor is beginning to lose steam. He needs to create some space for himself. He's got a sister out again. We've got a cover. Sit back, people. This one's not over yet. Balor's shooting out of that pitfall like a bullet. He goes for the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Yeah, this early, no chance. Harsh impact. Oh my goodness, crushing it. I'm the evil 
It is clear Finn Balor is feeling the pure brutality of this fight. This might be the beginning of the end for him. Yeah. It's over at this point. Oh, man, his family has to be concerned about him right now. When this guy's on, look out. Takes it. This may very well be it. And he stops the count. He's taking some offense. And it's so hard to create space for yourself in a tornado tag team match such as this. This is exactly the whole thing his opponent was looking for. It wasn't easy to find, but hey, he found it. Finally. Boom, what impact. There it is. Did you hear that crack? This is what makes him one of the best in the business. There it is. Did you hear that crack? Oh boy, he is rolling. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. Oh, Bullis just barely got out of the way. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Ah, oh boy, he is rolling. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. What a jumping knee strike on point. Long distance drop. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. 16. He got him there. Just look at this, Cole. Wow. Buzz with a W. Wow. Congratulations, Buzz. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. He ain't messing around. He ain't playing here. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. I really enjoyed every minute of this. He did it! It took channeling his inner demon to walk alongside the demon king, Finn Balor. But Buzz has finally defeated Bray Wyatt. But where does Cole Quinn stand in all of this now? It's over now, Cole. I never cared about you, but I do. Come with me. Everything will be okay. I'm sorry, Buzz. I don't know what happened. It's okay. It's all over. This is bigger than revenge. Buzz has seemingly rescued his friend Cole Quinn from Bray Wyatt's control. Finn Balor doesn't just throw that gesture around anyone. It's reminiscent of what we saw between Buzz and AJ Styles in Japan. But what does it mean? It means that Finn Balor and Buzz have formed a bond that won't soon be broken. 